excited to announce the all-new custom dashboard by Traxxas GPS. A 60,000 foot level view of charts and graphs displaying your fleet's key performance indicators to help you run your business better. There are three levels of dashboards available to our customers based on the associated My Geotab device or account rate plan. These levels are base tracking, regulatory, and pro level. To get started, we'll cover the base plan dashboard view first, which is available to every single customer. Our first and most important graphic is the watchdog report. This pie chart helps you quickly see the status of your installed GPS devices and helps you determine if they are actively tracking or offline. Next is the basic driver scorecard. This bar graph shows you how your mobile employees are doing using three standard performance metrics, which are speeding behavior, to include both above posted speed limit and excessive speeding violations, idling time per vehicle, and unauthorized or after hour vehicle use. To help control the cost of burning fuel while idling, we have the daily idling chart. This displays the total idling time for the entire fleet over the last seven days. For insight into your fleet's activities, take a dive into the trip summary chart. Here you can see the driving time and idling duration, as well as the stop count per truck. To keep your fleet on the road, we've put together two maintenance driven pie charts, which are the maintenance due and the maintenance overdue. These graphs display when vehicles are due or overdue for maintenance services based on traveled mileage or time threshold set by you. Example of these services would be oil changes, filter changes, preventative maintenance, and tire rotations. When it comes to safety, it's important that we identify risky driving behavior with the top five speeding violations dashboard, showing the heavy hitters when it comes to speeding on the roads. For trending activity data, we have the daily distance dashboard reporting the distance in miles that your fleet has driven every day for the last seven days, which should help you better understand and plan for busy days. If you want a longer term view, we also have the monthly distance trend graph. Some other helpful tools are the fleet utilization bar graphs, which list the bottom five and top five percentages of time a vehicle is used. Our setting for period of use is seven days by default, but can be adjusted if needed. Lastly, we can help you identify activity during and after business hours with the Business First Personal Trips pie chart, showing the percentage of use of fleet vehicles during these set hours. Let's take a look at how you can access these dashboards and reports in your account. First, select the Dashboard option in the My Geotab menu to the left. Next, to add any of our new dashboards, simply choose Add Report at the top of the dashboard page. Select the new dashboard report you would like to see, and you're good to go. Additionally, if you'd like to see the dashboard report in Excel format, simply click on the dashboard view to download the file. It's that easy. For our hours of service customers, using the regulatory plan, here's a review of your available dashboard reporting tools. These will be in addition to the base level dashboard tool. Our regulatory plan, used mostly by our long haul trucking and transportation clients, provides additional vehicle-related data to help our customers stay in compliance under the electronic logging device mandate enforced by the Department of Transportation. The unverified logs pie chart shows the percentage of your fleet with verified driver logs versus the percentage of your fleet with unverified logs in the last seven days. The driver availability chart shows the number of drivers that are available versus the number of drivers that are not available or do not have any hours remaining. The fleet ELD HOS violations by reasons pie chart shows the number of drivers in violations and the specific type of violation. These include maximum 70 hours on duty in eight days violation, maximum 15 hour on duty limit violation, maximum 14 hour workday limit violation, and the maximum 11 hour driving limit violation. The drivers on duty bar graph shows how many drivers are currently on duty. Finally, to help control your violations and the cost of those, we have the driver approaching HOS violations, which shows the number of drivers that are about to enter into an HOS violation. We also offer a more advanced pro plan for customers looking to use advanced vehicle data to manage their fleet. This plan includes additional driving and vehicle performance data, such as hard braking, hard turning, and acceleration events, seat bell use, fuel use, fill-ups, and miles per gallon data, as well as vehicle diagnostic trouble code alerts and reporting. Here's a review of your available dashboard reporting tools under the Pro Plan, which will be in addition to the base level dashboard tools. First and foremost, we have the Advanced Driver Safety Scorecard showing the scores for the entire fleet of vehicles or your mobile employees or drivers. 
This scorecard uses our base plan events such as speeding, idling, and after hour use rules and adds advanced driving and vehicle use data to include hard turns, hard brakes, acceleration events, and driving without seatbelt events. To evaluate your entire fleet and how they are doing when driving your company vehicles and helping you to cut costs, we have the Advanced Fleet Scorecard. This simplified pie chart will display the fleet performance level as it pertains to your company vehicles and the percentage of those that are at company goal, meet expectations, are below expectations, or even far below expectations. It's a summary report based on where your vehicles or drivers perform on entire performance scale, as measured by the individual driving events of that vehicle and associated weighted scores you place on those events. Comes to saving money on fuel cost, the weekly idle trend report helps by showing the amount of time your fleet has spent idling for the week. Or if you'd prefer monthly, we have the monthly idling trend report, which shows the amount of time your fleet as a whole has idled for the past three months. Next, we have the average fuel economy report, which shows your fleet's average fuel economy in miles per gallon for the last seven days. And let's not forget the monthly fuel usage report displaying the total gallons of fuel burned for your entire fleet over the last three months. To help make sure your drivers are staying safe on the roads and are protected, we have the top five seatbelt violations report. We can view the top five worst seatbelt violators over the last seven days when employees are driving without a seatbelt. Last but definitely not least, when looking at saving costs of operating your fleet and to help you coach your employees to better driving habits, you can't go without our fleet saving summary report. This is an advanced report using a proprietary algorithm to factor in costly and risky driving behaviors designed to help you identify areas of improvement and opportunities for coaching your employees to more profitable driving behavior. Coach your drivers by using this amazing dashboard tool. It highlights who needs coaching based on the following rules. Hard acceleration, harsh braking, harsh cornering, speeding, seatbelt, and idling. If you have any questions, please contact us at 888-447-7059. Or you can shoot us an email at support at traxisgps.com.